When people say infrastructure, they mean the things that allow us to run as a society. Our roads, railways, airports, waterways and power stations are part of our infrastructure. We need these things to go about our everyday lives and everybody relies on them. They affect every person. Without infrastructure, what would happen? How would we all get about? How would we get clean water, flush a toilet, turn on the light or even go to school or work? Infrastructure is hugely important. Firstly, I think to our daily lives, be it in terms of healthcare, getting to work in terms of transportation, education, the building of our school buildings, it's all hugely important to our outcomes. At the same time, I think it's hugely important to our economy, not just in the UK but globally. Construction in the UK accounts for around about 7% of GDP. We employ roughly about 2.5 million people in a really wide array of careers, from construction economists to engineers to people that work in that digital environment as well, all helping provide essential assets for the future of our country. The people who build and maintain our infrastructure are very important. Without them, our world could not function properly. Building infrastructures takes specialists and planning and lots of calculations. The latest technology is now used to ensure that our infrastructure is right. It helps us to build and to test proposed projects virtually before they are constructed for real. It helps experts to work together closely. It can also make infrastructure quicker to build, saving money that can then be spent on other things. BIM and digital tools I think are really helping change things, not just in terms of technology, I think new processes, making things more collaborative as well. And I think we're seeing a general zoom out towards a digitisation of our whole industry. Well, what does that let us do? It lets us simulate things within a computer environment. We like to think of it as a digital twin that kind of mimics how things can do, maybe in terms of how we build an asset, might be health and safety, it might be energy performance, but we can start to mimic that all within the safety of that computer-based environment. When the people who currently build and look after our infrastructure grow older, who will replace them? It's exciting times in the world of construction. There's a lot of huge projects getting ready to kick off within the UK. You look at the spend that's going to be out there. At the same time, we've got a lot of people from our industry who've got a huge amount of tacit knowledge that's about to leave. We need to make sure that new entrants that are coming in are ready in terms of digital enabled, but at the same time understand the whole construction process as well. We've also got to think about competing internationally. It's imperative that people come into our industry have got both the new digital skills and are what we call T-shaped as well. They understand that whole construction process. They're ready to come in to that work environment, ready, and have got new skills. I think it's really important that academia gets, gets ready for this world of digitisation. There's real diverse careers with construction and the world of digitisation is just making them much more interesting and advanced. And it's not just the traditional careers such as architects or engineers, we're now looking at people that have got computer science backgrounds, algorithms, especially mathematics as well, coming to that world of the built environment. And it's also not just in the UK, there's a global need for all these people as well to come in that are ready and actually ready for industry demands as well, to actually be able to not just be good at their subject, but to be T-shaped and actually understand the whole process within there as well. It's hugely important, I think, that you know, we can compete globally and start to produce candidates and entrants that can come into this exciting industry. I think I like the challenge of having to do all the pre-construction works, figuring out how we do it on paper before we go to site. So we're using uh, modelling techniques, but I'm saying on paper we're now using the you know, 3D modelling and so on. Um, so that, that's good to go and try and work it out and, and there's nothing more satisfying than when you plan something and it goes to plan. Being presented with a problem and coming to a workable solution, um, whether that's on site or in the office, it's um, working collaboratively with our in-house partners, coming up with a joint solution and seeing that solution come to fruition and be successful. I think for me a career in construction is a, it's really exciting, you know, it's very diverse, you can start off in one job role and you can move to another, you know, I've done that over my career sort of thing, there's huge opportunity and actually to be, you know, think about it, creating new assets and maintaining them 
I don't think you can do anything that's actually much more exciting, you know. You're contributing to society, you're contributing to the economy, and you're meeting some great people. You know, this is very much a team effort in terms of construction of project. Huge amounts of specialist skills and teams coming together just to create better outcomes. We need to make sure that the next generation of specialists are ready. At the moment, as people who are currently at school, people like me.